Welcome to another video. Check out this clip. So as you can see, there's a gentleman performing front crawl in the water, but something is a little bit different. You notice that something's a little bit off. You'll notice that his kicking is a little sporadic and his arms are going in a certain rhythm like this, you'll notice. And if you probably aren't aware, this is called total immersion swimming. Now, what is total immersion? Well, anybody in the swimming community has heard of total immersion swimming. It's a style of swimming that was uh, promoted way back in the day for specifically uh, triathlon swimmers to incorporate this style of front crawl. Whereas well, you can see, it uses this kind of rhythm with the arms and the legs follow suit with the arms. So there's like a two beat kick, one, two, for every arm. So the arm goes, one, two, another arm, one, two. So it looks, it looks very effortless, it looks very minimal. And you're probably wondering, what do I think about this style, this style of front crawl swimming? Well, it's not traditional, that's for sure. We don't learn this style as lifeguards or competitive swimmers, that's for sure. So why do people swim this particular total immersion style? Well, one thing, they think it's uh, it saves them a lot more energy. Well, that's not really true. And uh, yeah, it it's a lot better for beginners to learn because as you know front crawl takes a lot of time okay because you have to learn the rhythm the traditional rhythm of front kicking for front crawl looks like this dun 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 which I've taught and then the arms one two three breathe one two three breathe they're totally separate rhythms that you have to learn so what do I think of total immersion swimming it's a hack do I use it? Not really. To me, it's kind of like biking like this. Pedal, pedal, glide. Pedal, pedal, glide. Pedal, pedal, glide. Nobody bikes like this in real life. So why do you swim like this? Okay, is it efficient? Not really, why? Because if you don't kick consistently with your front crawl, that means your legs will lower. Okay, you have to kick and then it'll lower. This is, what is, this is what your feet will look like. Kick, lower. Okay, every time your feet lower into the water, it adds more weight to your body on your arms to pull. Okay, so it'll be a lot harder for your arms to pull when your legs are lower into the water. That's why we need consistent kicks so that our weight distribution, the amount of force we need to pull with each arm remains consistent. Consistency is the key towards traditional front crawl. Total immersion swimming looks like this. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, this is not consistent, okay? You can see that it fluctuates. We don't want this. So, try it out. Try it out in the pool if you want for fun. I mean, there's no harm in trying. Just like pedaling like this. You can do that in real life, but it's a lot easier to just pedal consistently. Okay, you don't have to pedal too hard, but I'm saying you can pedal lightly or you can pedal hard, but the main thing is that you're pedaling consistently. And the same thing goes with front crawl. So my advice is for this guy, if he wants to do this kind of sporadic style of gliding and da 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 da, just switch to breaststroke because breaststroke utilizes the glide a lot more efficiently. Okay, that's why we use breaststroke. So just switch to breaststroke. That's what I do. If I'm tired, if I don't want to kick consistently, give my legs a break, breaststroke. Or just put a, you know, pull boy between my thighs or a kickboard between my thighs and don't kick at all. There you go. So. Hope this video has been helpful. Click the link below, get the free ebook that I wrote, okay? It's gonna help you to learn how to swim better. It's a guide, it's free. The link is down below, instant access, get it now. And my name's Justin, take care and bye!